Hey guys, I'm Michaela and welcome to my channel. Today's video is about the first generation of Inuyasha's getting another sequel. I decided to do this video since a sequel has been announced to premiere in fall 2020. So it was only right to talk about the anime that started it all. Now, if they are going to have, give out all these sequels about well-known shonen characters, such as Boruto, Naruto Next Generations, from Naruto Shippuden, and Gohan from Dragon Ball Z series. Even though Gohan never got his own show, we got to see him grow up. If they want to put out another sequel, they should consider Fairy Tale. Oh. <laughs> I want more. I need more Fairy Tale. If you finish the final season of Fairy Tale, that means you know that somebody was, re was revealed to be pregnant. Y'all have no idea how many ships are in this series. When people say ships or shipping, they're talking about two or more characters should be together. Or an OTP, meaning one true pairing. Comment down below if I should do a video about all of fairy tales couples, because that sounds like a really fun video. For me at least. <laughs> Now, when it comes to Inuyasha, I remember setting an alarm at 4 a.m. Yes, I was dedicated. So I could watch Inuyasha on Cartoon Network. Me and my sister have so many tapes of Inuyasha that have been recorded on the v VHS. But we don't need that anymore since we have Hulu now. So... We're going to talk about Inuyasha that came out in 2000 and concluded in 2004 with 167 episodes. But then we got Inuyasha, the final act in 2009 to give us a nice 26 episodes to wrap everything up. Inuyasha is an isekai, a genre where a normal person or a character is transported to another world that's unfamiliar to them. Let me give you a, give a quick description of what it's about. The main character, the main characters, and a bunch of other characters are trying to bring down Naraku, played by Paul Dobson. And that's it. It may not sound like a lot to you, but I think what makes this a great anime is the adventure and who they meet along the way. Villains and allies. You will see so much growth between all these characters. Now, Naraku is the big boss that everybody wants to get after they've been manipulated by him in some kind of way. Plus, there is some romance among the characters. I always enjoy a good love triangle. Yeah. Every now and then, you'll see how Inuyasha adapts to the new world slash Kagome's world when he goes down the well that connects both of their worlds, which is pretty funny at times. Now let's talk about some of the main characters. Inuyasha, the title character, played by Richard Ian Cox, is as a half demon. Mom's a human and dad's a dog demon, who's been trying to get the Shikon jewel to become a full-fledged demon himself. Moroku, played by Kirby Morrow, a monk who travels the countryside to perform exorcisms to earn a living. Plus, he's a he's weak. His weakness is to attractive women. Be careful of this one. Songo, played by Kelly Sheridan. She's a demon slayer from a demon slaying village. Her weapon of choice is a gigantic boomerang made out of the bones from defeated demons. Shippo, played by Jillian Michaels. And no, it's not the well-known fitness expert. It's a different person. Shippo is a young fox demon. His father was killed by the Thunder Brothers. You'll meet them in the first 10 episodes. I love the voice actor who plays older brother. Anyway, Shippo can shapeshift, but only for a certain amount of time. A little bonus for you. If you're a fan of Riverdale, like I am, Tall Boy, played by Scott McNeil, plays Coca. And he is the new leader of the wolf demon tribe. 
I love it when I get to see voice actors acting in front of a camera. It's like I get, it's like I get to see a different side of them and their faces. The thing about Inuyasha, the final act, it has the same premise as the original anime, but some of the main voice casts were replaced because some aren't voice acting anymore. They were busy doing another project at the time of they, at the time, or they felt like they weren't right for the role anymore. Now, so let's talk about the characters who had different voice actors in the sequel. Seth Shomaru is Inuyasha's older brother, who is a full-fledged dog demon who shared the same dad. Oh, it's played by David K. I really liked his new voice actor, who is Michael Dangerfield. David did an amazing job. He made Sashomaru an intimidating and powerful character, but Michael made him into a new character, but still had the essence of the original character, if that makes sense. Overall, I just really love the voice actor's voice, and I need to hear more. Kohaku is Sango's little brother, but he never really liked uh, Demon Slaying because he didn't like to hurt anything. His original voice actor is Danny McKinnon, who is now new voice actor is Aiden Drummond. I love this change. This character has been through a lot, just like the main characters. The change of voice actor shows the character has grown. He's not a child anymore. Kagome, original play, originally played by Monica Story. It took me a while to get used to her new voice actor, who is Kira Toyser, but eventually I got used to it, and that's all I could say. I could say about that. Uh, Kagome, she is a third year middle school, middle school student, middle school student, and she is just a normal girl. And who happens to be a reincarnation of a very important priestess. And in that time, she's just a very important leader who is just helps solve demon problems. There it is. Okay. And so that is all I have to say. If you want to learn more about the sequel that's going to come out in fall 2020, I will put a two links in the description below. So check that out if you want to know more about it. And that is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you will I hope you will give this classic anime a try. It is on Hulu right now. If you love fantasy, comedy, supernatural, historical, fantasy, anime, you will love this one. It is on Hulu right now. I recommend the English dub, of course, but watch it however you want rated PG-13. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm Michaela. I'll see you later. Bye.